I bought a 15,000 square foot warehouse to turn into my dream YouTube studio. It's a giant project with plenty of road bumps and pitfalls along the way, but my team and I are determined to put this thing together. We've come a long way. We built a merch room, sound treated the studio, renovated a scary bathroom, built a set, painted murals, and a whole lot more. Now, in this video, it's time to turn our attention to the front lobby area to turn it into the vibey chill zone I've always wanted it to be, and do a giant wheat paste mural installation, which is something that I've never done before. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work on transforming this massive warehouse into my dream YouTube studio. First things first, your boy went antique shopping. Gonna continue swagging out the studio. And Nikki is cleaning the spider eggs. Spiders aren't welcome here. <laughs> now we gotta unload this. Well, how much do you think that big one weighs? That thing honestly probably weighs like 800 pounds. James buy me a coat. First, let's unload this sweet dowel rod desk thingy and stick it up front. Right there. The very first piece of furniture. So excited! Then all four of us got this work table off the trailer. Okay, so the options are to float this into the center of a room, to put it over there, but then we have to move those incredibly <laughs> heavy beams, or to put it where Fred and Billy Bob Jr. are. I don't know. We're gonna try and move those lobs. Why low coming through? We use those giant beams and cinder blocks to make this weird makeshift shelving unit. Then we flip this 1920s work table into place. Look at that beautiful patina. Beautifully ugly top, I love it. The front of house, that front lobby area. When we first moved in here, that place was in really good shape. It had so much potential, but for about a bajillion years, we had to use it as temporary merch storage as the rest of this place was under construction. We needed a safe, dust-free, climate-controlled area to store the 1000 merchandise. And unfortunately, the front of house became that temporary storage location. But if you saw the last video in this dream build out series, you know that we completed the beautiful merch room, which leaves the front of house empty and ready for a good old fashioned swagging. Initiate maximum chillage sequence, maximum vibe out for that front of house. Editor Nick here. So in this next sequence of shots, we did not realize that the mics weren't turned on. So I'm going to do my best to dub over what Peter is saying. Okay. I have rugs. Two rugs. These floors have no rugs. So we're gonna take these rugs and put them on these floors. Thanks for tuning in. They grab the bags. Pick up the sacks. Then turn off the computer. Shut down the neck. Then cleared the desk. Made sure to unplug it. it. Then cleared the office. The a quick vacuum. These floors are a mess. Then grab the first rug. Then they laid it down. And put the desk back. The stuff. Then cleared the front area. And vacuumed again. Now rug number two. two. These guys are strong. So strong. But determined. Rug number two is down. Right and it looks great. Okay, this is where I want to hang my painting that took me over a year to paint my version of The Last Supper. I want to hang it on this wall, but I think a nice dark color will really let this piece of art pop. So we're going to paint this wall a dark color and kind of wrap it around to this wall right here and then wrap it around to the other side right here. We taped off all the edges and prepped the wall to be painted. Wally Pepper's on vacation or else he would have been great to help with this one. Okay, let's test this guy out. Yeah, that'll work. Cause the other couch I have coming, I think is like, like that height. Start painting. We started laying down the first layer of what I thought was a slightly cool dark gray but it turned out to be more blue than I thought. Okay, so unfortunately I freaking hate this color. It's way too dark, it's way too blue. When I saw it on the card, it didn't look like that, I swear. But in here is not working. So I got a lighter gray and we're gonna just start over on this thing and hopefully it won't look as bad on the second try. This time around I went with a lighter, more neutral gray and it certainly doesn't clash as much with the black ceiling and brings a bit of light back into the space. I actually am gonna keep this wall as that navy because this couch goes up against the back of it and we have these nice LEDs on the back of this couch. So the LEDs will look really nice bouncing off of that deep, dark gray navy color. So there's the silver lining. Mmm, na 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 na. You look so swanky. Coach! 
You gotta love the way LEDs look on a deep navy. Ty just installed these lovely track lights pointing at the Last Supper so it's much more well lit. So you can appreciate all the details. Oh yeah, baby. That's juicy. It's couch time, baby. These have been sitting over there for like a week as we work on the sound treatment in here. But we finally have some downtime. I already bought one of these couches for my last studio a couple years ago. I liked it so much, I bought two more. You guys didn't see, but we did it. It's in there. Now if you'll excuse me. It just took a quick assembly of screwing the legs on and then we got these couches into place. Something about the caramel leather on these just looks so saucy to me and I love them. I added a few throw pillows and the vibe is really starting to get somewhere. Okay, so Nikki desperately needs a new desk. Check this out. Look at this. This has been her work desk for the past six months. But luckily the fine folks at Flexi Spot have swooped in and done it again. Look at this. We got a bamboo top. We got the new Flexi Spot E7 Pro. <coughs> even upgraded version to the last chair they sent me. They said, dude, we'll hook Nikki up. Don't worry about it. We got you. Super excited for all this stuff. It's time to build this desk. Yeah! The Flexi Spot desks are super gangster. The E7 Pro can hold up to 440 pounds. The motors are strong. The all metal legs just like, they're, it's just so solid and sturdy. We should probably swap this one out for the editing bay one, but after her crappy desk for so long, Nikki really deserves the best. Okay, I've got an idea for this wall behind me. I want to do a grimy street art textury wheat paste Mural. Ty went ahead and already put up some uh, two by four pieces of wood here and we're gonna put some plywood on top of that and that is going to be my base to create this wheat paste wall. I've never made a wheat paste wall before but I have done some wheat pasting way back in the day. I can change this from looking like your principal's office in junior high to being a really cool street art graffiti aesthetic for the lobby here. Hopefully it doesn't suck. I got to work floating some sheets of plywood off of this wall so I didn't have to wheat paste directly onto the cinder block. Okay, I'm gonna make lots and lots of individual designs for this wheat paste wall. I basically took a whole day and just started coming up with a bunch of individual black and white elements that I wanted to be a part of this wheat paste wall. On some of them I repurposed some of my old designs, on some of them I came up with new designs, some of them I started remixing and editing images I found online. And it's just a bunch of raw materials that I'm gonna be able to use when I'm making this wheat paste wall and collaging together all these individual elements. All right, I got my files on this hard drive and I'm down here at Oscar's Speedo Print to get these printed. A few days later. Okay, it's been a few days. My prints are here. These things are nice and big. Oh my gosh. Now I think I gotta mix up some wheat paste. So I hit up my friend Claude, who does a lot of wheat paste stuff, and he shared his super secret recipe with me. Back in my day, we used to just boil flour and water together, but this probably is a little bit better. The only problem is he told me to get the Roman Pro 543. I ordered that on Amazon, but it's not gonna be here for a little bit. So I got this, the Roman Pro 880, because they had it at Home Depot. I hope it's similar, <laughs> but I'm already going off recipe. Claude said I could share his super secret recipe on this video, but in exchange, you guys should definitely go follow him on social media. He's actually one of my favorite artists. He's one of only two artists that I have done a personal commission. I have his artwork hanging in my house. His Instagram is right here. It's also linked down in the description. Go give him a follow. His art is sick, seriously sick. So we're gonna do a 10-3-1. 10 parts of this, three parts water, one part wood glue. That is thick. Look at that. How am I going to get exactly 16 ounces if this doesn't level? Okay, I think I already did too much. You'd be really good at chemistry. <laughs> Bro, if I have to use like exact measurements with art, something's gone terribly wrong. That looks about right. Hey, Claude, thanks for the recipe. I'm not going to follow. So now we need three parts water. Dump this in here. Now we need one part wood glue. So that's 1.6 ounces, which we'll call one and a half. <laughs> wood glue. One man versus wood glue. Oh man, this is gonna take some squeezing. Squeezing so hard. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. Why doesn't he take the cap off? Almost there. Come on, baby. A man on a mission. A mission for wood glue. All 
All right. Looks like when you open up sour cream and it's like separated. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like tapioca or something. All right, well that's a lot more watery than the straight up Roman, which is good. Okay, well I'm gonna keep mixing this and then we'll see you at that wheat paste wall to put up our first poster. Oh my God, this is super exciting. Okay, this is Zeke from Madness in Metal. He just drove nine hours to be here and he brought me something very special that's in the back of this truck. A giant custom made metal light up sign. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Are we just gonna slide it? Yeah, it's not gonna anything. It's all steel in the back. Look at this thing. This is insane. Let's take it in the main room. I gotta see this thing light up, man. All right, the moment of truth in three, two, one. Ooh, that's so sick. You like that? Oh my God, that's fire. It's just clear coated raw steel. I actually flame torched all the outside edge so you have that hard patina. How long did this take you? If I sat down and rebuilt it, probably three days straight work, but I built it over a week. So it's a lot stronger. Swirly. So it's waterproof inside or outside. It can go wherever. I'll stay here, I'll help you. We can't f it up if you're here. <laughs> it's debatable, I can help f it up. <laughs> We lifted this huge metal sign, found some studs, and bolted the back to the wall. Then we just had to get the screws in the right position to attach the faceplate, and my new custom 1000 sign was ready. Now I just gotta figure out how to run power to this thing. That looks so freaking cool. Bud told Peter to poke holes in all of the posters so that way air bubbles don't get trapped. So now Nikki is doing some therapy work on these posters. Tell that poster what you're angry about, Nikki. Life. <laughs> First, I'm gonna lay down a base of this paste, just kind of winging it. Little wheat paste. I guess since this contains zero wheat, it's just paste. You gotta throw like one drop of flour in there. Just a piece of bread floating in it. <laughs> okay, so Nikki poked holes in these, so hopefully it'll be not too air bubbly. But if it is a little air bubbly, like I just want grime, you know? So some creases and wrinkles are not too big of a deal to me. So I think I'm gonna lay down a full layer of like full posters to cover most of the wood. And then I might jump in there with some like, some drips and some spray paint and some embellishments, make it a bit nasty. And then come on with another layer of like my collage work and just start building it up. This is very much gonna be a project that's about the vibes. All right, let's throw some more posters up on this first layer while I get this wood glue out of my eye. While I get the first layer of posters up on the wall, I'm gonna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. Oh my God. And all you gotta do is drop your awesome content into their beautiful templates and boom, you got a website. I've been using Squarespace for years and years. I love their e-commerce. Oh yeah, first layer's down. It's already looking super cool. This is my base and I'm just gonna keep swagging it out from here. That looks a lot better than that plain plywood. All right, let's keep going. And if you ever do run into any issues, they have 24 seven customer support. So if you're an artist or a photographer or whatever your dream is, you deserve to have a beautiful website. So go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Hey. Hello. Welcome back to the assembly carpet. It's Nick and Nikki. This is where we assemble things. For instance, metal lockers, which we are about to assemble right now. That didn't work. Wait, switch it. You say right and then I'll say no. Okay. Right. Now, that still didn't no, work. Either. We have to say it at the same time. Okay. Right. right? No. I thought these blue metal lockers would look nice in the lobby area. Plus now there's plenty of space for the whole 10 hundred team to store all their random stuff. Hello and welcome back to the assembly carpet. I will be building a metal filing cabinet. SKU DBE j 202124 w For all those SKU-niacs who wanted to know what the skew was. Um, so let's build this thing. It's on days like these I'm very thankful for Nick. I know I'm not alone in saying that I absolutely hate putting together furniture that I order online. This is my friend from Tokyo, Takuya, and he's doing the double finger because he's badass like that. He's actually like the nicest guy. This does not reflect his actual attitude. And now we have some strange gray blueliness that we can use later. As I started to put up the individual cutout pieces and design elements, I could really see the potential of dopeness that this wall had in store. You might be wondering, why does this guy keep popping up on the screen? 
Well, that's because I work here. What? And you might also be wondering, why does he have two boxes? Well, this is a squeegee, and this is window tint. And so we're putting some tint on the window to keep it a little bit darker in this room, because I like the darkness. So step one is we gotta measure the window. 39 and a quarter by 34 and 1 8, and we'll get this sliced to size. Step one, clean the window. Soapy water. The tint is awesome because it keeps the editing bay dim, but it's also cool because it's mirrored so people can't see what we have inside. Hi there, how's it going? You might say, Nick, those boxes look a little familiar. Well, that's because these boxes are also full of window tint. You see, after tinting my office, we said, Oh, that's pretty great. Why don't we tint the whole front of house? So here I am with two more boxes of tint and a dream, a dream of privacy and tinted windows. So put your viewing eyes on and let's get to tinting. This has been drying for a couple of days now, and now it's time for some embellishments. I have some spray paint, I got some crink drip mops. I'm just gonna vibe this out and add some paint to this thing. I'm continuing to push the texture and the grime and the street art aesthetic. I want this thing to look like it was plucked from a metro bus stop in Chicago or something. Just an old poster wall with layers of nastiness. So this stuff actually showed up. The correct Roman. Okay, now that I'm using Claude's actual recipe, it's a lot better. The Roman 543 is way less thick and this paste goes on so much smoother and lasts so much longer. The other stuff worked fine. <laughs> But this is definitely the superior recipe. In my last Dream Studio build out episode, I told you guys I wanted to cover this whole wall with stickers. I told you guys to send your stickers in and we'll slap them up. And boy, how did you guys send your stickers in? Oh boy, I need a bit enough more than we could chew here. Ooh, you Thank missed you their know. wedding. Congrats to Nicholas and Claire. October? Yeah. That's the biggest sticker we got. Finland, all those people who say Finland Albert. doesn't exist. Shout out Albert Fisk. This is probably the coolest box, look at that. Oh, we might have a new biggest sticker. Bam! That's crazy. Salt the fists. Where's this from? Lakrids pak krog and juubi sikim. Hive faske leker salted krids. Nailed it. Somewhere in like northern Europe. This is Denmark. That's cool. We got a bunch of Danish candy and stuff. Scum banana. There's another cool watcher rock. Wow. Okay, that took a while, but we got them all open. Now it's time to slap these suckers up on this wall. Thanks, everybody. With hundreds of stickers coming from all over the world, this boring wooden staircase is transforming into something really cool. I pass through this doorway so many times a day and each time I take a look at these stickers and just think of all the awesome viewers that support this channel. Ooh, baby, that sticker wall is coming along. Thank you guys so much for sending us the stickers. If you're an artist and you wanna send us any stickers for our sticker wall, my mailing address is at the bottom of my website, tenhun.com. This thing is looking so saucy. Look at all these cool stickers from all over the world. Something you can just stare at every day and see something new every time. Thanks, y'all. I got some very watery, wet, white paint here. Gonna do some drips on this bad boy. As I stood back and looked at the wall, I noticed there was a bit too much dark areas and it seemed a little too busy. I grabbed some torn elements of my more simplistic designs that had a lot of white negative space to create a bit more breathing room in this crazy wheat paste collage.
and I also placed some larger prints and elements to give your eyes somewhere to rest amongst all the busyness. I would just step back, look at it, see which area needed some breathing room, where did I want a new little embellishment, where is there too much going on, and just slowly worked my way until I was happy with my final composition. Oh yeah. I think I'm done. This looks so freaking cool. I love the way this looks in this front lobby area here. I just gotta put some finishing touches up here and then show you guys the big reveal of the front of house. Wow, all right, so here's the front of house, the main lobby area, it's been a huge transformation. This is what it looked like before when we first moved in. Then we had it full of all that merchandise and now it is the chill zone that I've always wanted it to be. I'm super hyped, it's really comfy up here. I love the wheat paste mural. It's such a bold centerpiece to this front of house. It was super fun to make and I'd love to do more art like this in the future. It's just like the anchor to the room and it looks so sick to me. Nikki's desk is such an upgrade. Poor Nikki was working with like the worst desk for so long, but now she has a really nice spot to work with. The coffee table, these beautiful leather couches, so comfortable, so swaggy. This is edit suite number two. Nick also had the flexi spot desk that we showed in the last video. It's sound treated in here. We have another nice couch inside of the edit bay. I love this kind of mid-century modern bookshelf that we have in here with all the little art books and weird 10 hundred stuff. We have the TV zone, the lounge area over there. This dowel rod piece of furniture looks so sick to me. It's such a unique shape and such a unique material and it looks really cool. These blue lockers over here add a nice pop of color to the kitchen area. I got my uncut sheet up there. I have one of my silk screen prints. Ty even made this custom card holder for each one of the Vivid Kingdom's decks of cards. We got some video games. We got this cool like entertainment console with some of these custom art toys in it. A Samsung 65 inch 4k TV got to check out the YouTube videos on the big screen right and then there's my office where I do all the main editing edit suite number one kind of want to update the couch in here now too because the couches out in the main lobby area are so sick all right y'all I'm 10 hundred thank you for watching studio build out is getting to a point where I'm really happy with the studio perhaps the next video in this series will be like the full studio tour 2024 showing you everything we've done so far and then the projects will start coming probably just one at a time if I want to improve things around here. You guys are awesome. I'm 1000. Thanks for watching. Peace out.